Hey, here we go. Let's go, D. Tighten up. Let's go, D. Tighten up. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Come on, D! On second and nine, Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down carry by Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 more yards there and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> error we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. They keep on the ground with Elliott, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Prescott now from the 50. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 27-yard line. Accepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for Redskins touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early. 
to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Looking to throw, Prescott. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Third down, it's Prescott. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And yeah, maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change yeah, the I'm game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. They start on the ground with Elliott. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And the Redskins scoop it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch a buck balance. And he did. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's got this down to the 35. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Right, don't get nervous now. We ain't begin to tear you up. Don't get nervous. Hey, alert three, alert three. Out, 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 out. Now Haskins on first down. Throw right side caught by Davis. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one goes for 24 yards. First down. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. 
check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Pick me up. Here we go. Watch the city. They'll run on first down. Thompson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Haskins to throw on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Here's Geis. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. on the keeper and this will depend on the mark I'm not sure he pushed the line forward and indeed he did not they stop him a chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter getting their first trip into the red zone but unable to get it across and if I'm the head coach sure you feel some disappointment maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode all right guys we didn't get it this time that's only the second quarter we'll be back let's get it later on I want to keep this team up I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. <laughs> Out of his end zone, Prescott. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Prescott to throw it. And on the left side, he's got Witten. And he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Elliott. And he will have the first down here as he's up to the 15. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Prescott looks to throw on first. That would complete Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. At the 14-yard line. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Watch the pass. To the air again, Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime.
After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. And that is incomplete. Well, shame on them, Coach Davis. They went against your advice. They threw the football, and now they're backed up to punt this away. They're actually fortunate. They went against my advice, but they didn't turn it over, right? No takeaway for the defense. They'll punt it now. They probably could have gained a few yards if they ran it, though, and helped out with field position. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Taken from just outside the 30. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Haskins and the offense with a first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. 25! Check 25! Check 25! Watch safety creep. Watch safety creeping. Safety's creeping. Watch, watch. My 55! My 55! Haskins looking to throw on first down. That's caught by Trey Quinn. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Hopkins' kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with a field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the locker room and, and start over. But if they do decide to try and make a play, we know what the basics are. You run draw, you run screen. I would maybe run a little swing pass and try and get my lineman out in space and see if they can chop a hole into the secondary and see if he can run a little bit. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Prescott. The tight end Jarwin with it out on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five. Now, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Final play of the half, Prescott. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Redskins in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. <laughs> On first and 10, it's Haskins. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From midfield now, Haskins. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Gets back to the air, and he finds McLaurin. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. And with the play clock winding down, Jay Gruden's going to use a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. on first down and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down that would have been a great catch but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in so after the incompletion second and ten from the 22 shotgun handoff to Thompson and he'll get it down this time to the 17 Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They go with Thompson again. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be a second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down, Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play at them while you've got them rocked on their heels. Prescott going to come up first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. From the shotgun, again to Elliott. And room there to work it inside the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Let's go. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Prescott now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven, it's first and 10. Prescott from the gun. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. 
He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, but it's going to be second down. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Prescott yet again into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Gardner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Now after the turnover, here's Haskins. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Richardson. Touchdown, Washington! Paul Richardson, 40 yards. And the interception by the Redskins deed leads to a touchdown. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff position? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Extra point good by Hopkins. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Prescott on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's Quentin Dunbar with a pick. The 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Washington. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Makes the score Redskins 27. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. 
but they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right? they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this position. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They go to Elliott again. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing him further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get up field. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Only a yard of the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run it with Elliott. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. First down, here's a run with Peterson. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Geis with the carry on second down, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. So hail to the Redskins as they get the victory here. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. So they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.